explain to you about uh, data cleaning. Data cleaning is easy and simple. So after getting to these uh, these values, uh, frequencies, but by the way, if you, are, you do not know how I got here, you simply go to analyze, then you go to descriptive statistics, you go to frequencies, then <coughs> okay, so then you'll move all these here variables, these variables will be here, but we'll move them to this one, and then you click OK. After clicking OK, then you arrive to this section here. We'll be able to notice missing values and valid values, okay? Now, data cleaning means correcting um, any or cleaning or removing any data that is in error or correcting errors or removing duplicates or handling missing values now for for us to to remove these missing values we go to transform okay you go to transform then replace missing values or manually edit in the data view there in the data view on the other side but here we go to replace missing values now I'm not going to replace these values because I'm still working on this data. But if you click here, you'll get a dialog box that uh, requests you to confirm to replace <coughs> the missing values. Okay. So, new variables you specify, you choose here new variables, the name of method. Okay. So, okay, this will come here. Then you click OK. Then in every variable, the missing values will be replaced will be replaced i think you've gotten here uh, so let's see now how to remove duplicates now to remove duplicates you go to data while you are still here you go to data then you identify duplicate cases okay so you can define matching cases also you can choose matching groups by moving this to these sections okay to these sections and you click ok to run the program the same and uh, you can you get a desired results now um, for data visual visualization this I'll make a separate video so that we we do one thing at uh, time so for data visual visualization like uh, creating graphs and chart builders uh, on the same data we'll see in the next video how you can do this cleanly and perfectly so please subscribe to this channel for you to get more videos which relate to this content on SPSS to simplify your work on research and the management of projects and other uh, important uh, important things that require you to use SPSS program with easy. Thank you very much and uh, I wish you all the best. Kindly consider subscribing, sharing, commenting. If you see any error, please let me know in the comment below so that I perfect this um, tutorial for the rest. Thank you very much.